24, 17, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. One, two, three, four, five, Science and Technology Week. Thank you very much for joining us today. It is another day where we are celebrating the Science and Technology Week right here in Uganda. And of course, everything happens to be going on smooth as it is. We are at Kololo Grounds, and my name is Big Sam, your host, and of course, your face for Science and Technology. As Uganda is a battling at getting making sure that we have our own scientists our own innovators being pushed up to do whatever they have to do and of course exhibition is going on right here as you, you can see lots of exhibitors have come through uh, to make sure that they exhibit what uh, Uganda has to call their own and of course we're proud to be bringing it to you right here if you're watching me and of course uh, you have just tuned in on spaces and on YouTube thank Thank you very much. This uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, program has been brought to you by the Ministry of uh, Innovation right here in Uganda. And of course, uh, uh, the ASTI in conjunction, of course, partnership with the President's Office, making sure that all our uh, particular innovators in Uganda gain ground. Today, the Minister is going to be here flagging off and getting started everybody that is an innovator and remember that this started uh, way back where we called upon all innovators to register because we want to give them our words we want to get them started now the top three uh, the top six actually out of everybody that uh, uh, tried to make it uh, through uh, this year will be receiving uh, the, their startup packages right from the uh, mini uh, the president of Uganda Yoweri Kaguta Museveni uh, he will be flagging them off into the market world and of course uh, uh, this initiative is going to be every every year and the minister is going to be right here to kick start uh, this innovation and of course uh, uh, the, 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 the exhibitors and the exhibition that is going on I want to move to all these different stalls and uh, uh, see to wait uh, that uh, uh, this uh, uh, this uh, innovation gets to you from wherever you are. So I want to visit all these tables, but uh, and, and, and when you look at them, I want to start from uh, uh, Kira Motors uh, right here. Uh, you see the beautiful, wonderful buses uh, that are right here. Uh, definitely what you're looking at is uh, uh, these buses uh, that have been uh, carefully uh, assembled and made in Uganda. I want to get one person here that represents Kira Motors uh, to come and just say a word or two about uh, these wonderful innovations. And uh, uh, of course, uh, uh, let me let me just get someone right here and they come and c could you please join me and just find out a few questions and uh, hints about uh, uh, Kira Motors. Uh, but but if I take a snip into uh, the bus and and you just check what's happening in the bus, uh, this is exactly how it looks like uh, before actually someone comes in uh, let's just take a look at what's in the bus beautiful wonderful extremely magnificent and of course uh, this is what you get when uh, you're trying to promote a uh, Ugandan staff these buses are made in Uganda, and of course, Kira Motors uh, are taking the lead and making sure that they are uh, the way they are uh, and of course this is the pride of our country. This is the pride of uh, Uganda, uh, getting to see uh, that we have such facilities, such a uh, kind of uh, transport that uh, uh, can uh, get uh, this to a different level. I want to find someone uh, who will uh, definitely talk to us about uh, uh, this wonderful. But I find it so good. Uh, the seating is good. You sit and become comfortable. There's space, and it's so spacious right here. And you know, you, you, you can never have it better than this and if we have uh, seen this in all these other different countries uh, definitely uh, it's a pride for all of us in Uganda to have such a, 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 a bus uh, being made in Uganda and of course we want to uh, see what else uh, they make 
uh, because uh, and we want to ask questions like durability. You can see when you are on board on this bus, uh, you have Wi-Fi, a free Wi-Fi for everybody that is on board right here. And uh, it's called the Kayola, the Kayola kind of bus, uh, uh, which is a Luganda word that stands for taking it, uh, taking it. Everybody, everybody, come and take and be part of uh, uh, this wonderful one. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, let, let, let me just get. Uh, uh, be, uh, s some few words uh, from uh, one of the people uh, from uh, the, uh, this uh, Akira Motors and, and we find out uh, the inspirations that we have. Uh, thank you so very much. Yes, ma'am. Come and join me. Come and join me. Yes. That's a good one. That's a good one. How are you doing, my dear? Not bad. How are you? Good, good, good. What's your name? My name is Richard Ranga Pase. Rachel Luanga Percy. Yes. Uh, okay. Rachel, uh, uh, please come a little bit further down and, uh, uh, and so, so that the camera can get this whole thing properly. Uh, Rachel, uh, tell me about uh, this uh, innovations that you, we, we are in right now. Actually, this is an electrical vehicle. Uh, it doesn't use fuel. It only operates with uh, the batteries and uh, it's only charged like the way you charge your phone. Okay. Yeah. It, uh, you charge after 300 kilometers, then you charge. But you don't have to wait for the 300 kilometers to go down, right? So you have to at least calculate that maybe I'm left with 14% or 20%, then you run to the charging area. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's a, a bus that is going to operate within town. We are going to, it's going to be used by uh, a company called Tondeka. So it's going to do the service, the town service duties. Then uh, there is a part for ticketing. You ticket, and then when you come in, you swipe your ticket onto the system, then you enter. There's no cash. Yeah. That now, is now, now tell, tell me, you, you told me that uh, this bus don't uh, use fuel. You only charge it. Uh, do you charge it from home? Uh, 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 <laughs> no, actually, yeah. in, the, in the parking area where they park, where they spend a night, is where you charge from. Oh, okay. Yes, you charge throughout the night. It takes only one and a half hours or one, and a, one hour. So it's fully. between one hour and one and a half hours to charge fully. Fully. Yes. Okay, now tell me. What, what advantage do we have uh, when we have buses that are electrified? Actually, we are, it is very, very advantageous. Reason being, uh, there is no this kind of smoke that comes out of the exhaust, like diesel cars or petrol cars, because it, it, it limits the, 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 the funny, funny smokes that, you know, the come out, the, the, the pollution for the environment. But... Uh, when you drive it, it's just very silent. It doesn't have an exhaust, so you just move sl uh, smoothly. But you always have, you know, we have these border border guys, so you always have to hoot a bit so that they notice that. Because for them, they don't use their mirrors, mm -hmm. even if they have them. So you have to hoot a bit and then gi uh, give an information that you're coming. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, now, w one, one thing that I also want to find out is... Uh, uh, these buses are going to be operating right in Kampala. Yes. And uh, they're made by you in Uganda or assembled by you in Uganda? They're made in Uganda. Made in Uganda? Yes. Wow, that's wonderful. They are made in Uganda. That's wonderful. Yes. How many so far do we have uh, on the market? Uh, right now we have around uh, five because uh, there are these two, the three ones. Then there's another one called KDC, Kayola Dizelo Van, okay. all bus. So that is, that is how far we have gone. And now there are some that are already in the making. Okay. So there will be many coming on board. Okay. Why did you choose to name this bus as Kayola? Kayola is a local name. It's like the way I, I'm called Rwanga. So it has to be Ugandan. Yes. Kayola. Yes. Which means everybody on board. Exactly. Man, thank you so very much. <laughs> You're welcome. I want to see you on top, man. Yeah, I'm one of the drivers, by the way, in, oh. in Tondeka. Wow. So I'll be operating within Kampala, and okay. you'll be seeing me on the road. No, thank you so very much, my dear. You're and, welcome. Uh, the sky's the limit if Uganda has such an innovation. True, and true. And of course, uh, what do you think about uh, this kind of initiative? The president is making sure that every uh, innovator is given a platform. What do you think about it? 
It's a great, great uh, opportunity because we are selling ourselves. Now, at the end of the day or at the end of the year or years, we shall be import or exporting them out of Uganda. Maybe one day you'll find Japan buying one of the buses or U.S. buying one of the buses. So it will be a very great opportunity. Ben, thank you so very much. Yes. Uh, let's uh, go and check out what, what you have else uh, out there. Uh, on the, uh, the exhibition ground. <laughs> well, one of the barriers that you see right there uh, going out and of course reversing parking properly and the sound is very quiet and of course that's the benefit that's a good thing that you know about Uganda but they don't only make buses they also have uh, this wonderful machine uh, right in this disposal uh, right here uh, this is uh, one of uh, the cars that is being made in Uganda and uh, it's quite a lot it's beautiful it's everything that you can ever see you look at how it's made uh, right down here and I'm, I'm just loving it I'm just loving the way the look and the make of uh, this wonderful burst and it's all uh, Kira Motors I want to get one person uh, from Kira Motors right here to come and just tell me about uh, this car and how uh, they have managed to assemble it or make it uh, right here in Uganda. The interior is perfect and so good. And uh, it's everything that uh, you would ever want if you want, uh, you know, Ugandans love class. And of course, Kira Motors is uh, in, 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 in the sink of knowing that uh, we have people that are classful. And uh, that's why you see uh, such kind of a ride right around uh, here. I want to get one person from uh, Kira Motors and they're going to tell me about uh, more of uh, this uh, wonderful innovation uh, that uh, is right here. I would want to see myself uh, in, some, uh, in a ride like this and uh, taking my beautiful wife out and, and, you know, have a life that is very, very good. But this is why we're here at, uh, uh, at Kololo Grounds, uh, to make sure uh, that we have such uh, innovations being done. And, of course, uh, when, when you look around, you have also other buses, other different a kind of rides and buses. Uh, we, 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 we're talking about mobility and uh, of course this is another one uh, that you can see right here and it's, it's just being enjoyed fully and I love it. I just really love it. So how are you doing? Good, good, good. Can you tell me something about this bus? Yes. 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 Man, this is this is very very good. Uh, I, I want to invite Mose. Uh, Mose will just give me a brief about uh, this wonderful uh, bus. Sebo, Sebo, how are you doing? Okay, uh, just just a snip, and because of our, our online people that are watching us right now, I want to know more about this innovation that you have right here. About the bus? Yes. Uh, this is called, uh, it's a diesel coach. Diesel. It's a diesel coach, not electric. Some people, they come thinking that this is an electric one. The electric ones, they are these white ones, the city buses. This is a highway coach. So it's built by Killer Motors, Ugandans. It's the built design, in Uganda? Yeah, it's built in Uganda. And the design is also Ugandan? Yeah, that's the more important. Wow. The design. Wow. Yeah. Can we just get inside and we just look yeah, at it? Have a look. Yeah, come on, let's go together uh, and, and we enjoy this wonderful experience of uh, a diesel bus. Wow. 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 This is it. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is how far Uganda has come. And, of course, uh, with the, the help of uh, the president of Uganda, we want to see all this come uh, to a different level. Uh, come and join me, sir, uh, and we just talk more and more about. So this uh, bus uh, takes about how many people? Uh, it's designed for 60, but uh, apparently we put only 47 because of the executive. We have the VIP seats. Wow. Yeah. 
this is jappy. This is the man, man, this, this, this looks like I'm in a plane already, man. Uh, it looks like I'm in the I'm in a plane enjoying some good life. Yeah. Wow. You, this you, is you can, when you want. You can. Oh you can. my God. Oh yeah. my God. This is uh, it. Then when when you want something or you have your laptop, you can pull this out. Okay. You can pull that out. Okay, and that is. That's when you you want to do some work yeah. and eat something and that, mm -hmm. that works at your mm -hmm. table. Man, this is just like in the plane and just it and then it comes Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. Now now where, where, is this already on the market? Uh this one is to show the Ugandans uh, there are some changes maybe you want to change, like you talked of the seats. Mm. Uh, it's to show the people that this is what we can do. But uh, if you want something better or you want something to be changed, then you come to Kira Motors, uh, you come to the uh, uh, sales department, you talk to them what you want, and then they give you the price. So, so, so someone can actually come, and, and, and let's push it back a little bit, because the camera person wants to get whatever that we want. Uh, so someone can actually come to Kira Motors, yeah. and they get a remodified bus yeah. towards whatever they want, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, this is not yet on the market, right? This, this, this one, we are not selling it for now. Okay. We, we are not selling it, because we, we made it as Kira Motors to show the Ugandans that... The potential that Kira Motors exact, has. Exactly. But we want, if you want the same, 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 you just come and press the order. The order. And it can be done. Yeah. Man, thank you so much. Now, now... And we have the toilet on board. Oh! We have the cooler on board. This, this is the cooler. That's the cooler. Yeah, this is the cooler. Yes. You can uh, travel when you put some small things, water, wow. juice, and all those things on board wow yeah this is pretty pretty good that's the cooler right there yeah. and uh, of course uh, uh, you cannot be thirsty on the road mm -hmm. and, and and down there is the toilet right yeah this, this, you want you want to go in there and it, it's just let's check yeah move long distances and, uh, they have to get out on the road and the road, and then pee on the road wow 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 Look at that, look at that, look at that. Toilet on board. Yeah. There's no stopping on the journey. Yeah, especially at night. Okay. You don't want to risk. You don't want to risk people's lives and, yeah. you know, we're moving in, in the worlds where there are dangerous animals. You stoop and people go out and there is something behind. This is so good. Kira Motors, thank you so very much. And uh, 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 I, I don't know, but if, if we keep up with such... Uh, where do you see Uganda in the next five years if uh, we keep uh, up with search? I, I think we need to believe in ourselves and uh, we have to work as a team. If you have any idea which you can bring in in Kila Motors, please, uh, we invite people to come and join Kila Motors. And also, we can also join other, other ministries and what and share the, all the ideas. Yes, sir. Yeah. No, thank you and, so and, and, and we want uh, most of the things to be done here. I know most of the things are not done here because uh, we don't have the factories. Like now the glasses. Mm. We should put up the, the, the factory for the glasses here. People build uh, big buildings in city uh, which goes a, a lot of money which we can at least tell those rich guys to come in and put factories to Put in the such make glasses, yes, yes. yeah. Oh, oh the you. plastics we we have the the leather we buy on the local market, but still we have we need the law the 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 factories which uh, do the firing of the the, the leather here. Mm. 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 So we reduce on some things which come from outside. That's that's the message. That's why we are here. The president of Uganda is so passionate about science and innovation. Yeah. And when we, we see this happening, for us, we are, are so, so happy. And of course, uh, the SDI, in partnership or in conjunction with the uh, president's office, are making this happen. Yeah. What is your take about it? Uh, I would like to thank the president, although I can't say much, but I would like to, to thank the president and uh, they really supported uh, uh, people like you see we are different uh, guys around. He's really supporting the, the youth and uh, 
uh, the universities and uh, w whatever, so that we can focus on how we can proceed to build Uganda as when we make our own things. I, I think even the young uh, youth, when they are coming up, your own child, when you take your own child uh, uh, to the school, you need this somebody to understand what he's reading and what he's doing. When m my kids come around and they're like, oh, dad, you do this? Wow. He, he's like, you know, I feel proud of my dad. Yeah, you know better than being exactly. to do something. So yeah. I, I need to encourage them and to show them where we're coming from. And uh, not that uh, you bring on uh, the product when it's done, when they don't see you doing the actual work. We take them around. Like now we encourage these other institutes to bring in people when we are working at the shop floor mm. to, to, to have that picture mm. where we're coming from. Man, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, man. Yeah. I want to see you on top. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, man. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. The, 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 the energy is so good. Everything is so good. I'm proud to be Ugandan when I see this happening because these are some of the things that are in Europe, in other countries, and you would not think that uh, uh, we have the capacity to have such in Uganda. But if we have such, and uh, it's re uh, right here, and our own people take the pride in it, I am so happy and I'm so delighted. Thank you very much, Mr. President, and uh, the team behind uh, these wonderful innovations. As we are still going on, I want to thank uh, the ministry, uh, the minister who uh, is in charge of science and innovation uh, for this great work uh, that uh, uh, you are doing to make sure that uh, innovators in Uganda uh, get the mileage they need to get. I also want to remind the public uh, that uh, come this kind of this Wednesday, uh, the president of Uganda will be right here in Kololo grounds and his main reason of coming is to make sure that he awards those innovators that would have come out to be winners and making a difference in Uganda. We want to get them started and be launched in the marketplace. Uh, happening uh, right here. Exhibitors are right here and uh, we are so proud. We are so grateful. We are so grateful that uh, uh, innovators in Uganda come to uh, get such uh, wonderful things. I want to uh, be joined by uh, these uh, Tondika people and uh, see a lot of great things that are being done in Uganda. Uh, some of the things that are exhibited are these trucks. Uh, uh, Farasi, Farasi trucks uh, are made in Uganda and uh, uh, we, we are encouraging farmers uh, to be part of uh, uh, these wonderful innovations and this will help the whole world, this will help the whole country get to the top where it's supposed to be. Now when you look at uh, such kind of innovations, that's when you get to understand uh, that our country is going to a different level. I also need to make mention that when we start making our very own things like this, uh, this takes away uh, the amount of money that we would be spending uh, on importing some things that, that uh, we could make right here. And of course, uh, when we make these, they will become uh, lots and plenty uh, and affordable for every farmer uh, to get uh, to use uh, such. And of course, that's the beauty of uh, we becoming the pioneers of our own inventions. Uh, when you look at, at this side and you, you, you will... Yeah, when you look at this side, we have a, a lot of uh, these uh, uh, young innovators who are proud of their country. And of course, uh, some of these guys come from uh, uh, the Musa Bodes and, and, you know, they look at things and, 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 and just get them the way they have to get them. I want to ap appreciate the innovative youth of Uganda. I want to appreciate these guys for, uh, you know, trying to make sure that uh, this such kind of innovation uh, gets to the place where it's supposed to and when you look at such a, a kind of a kind you know that this body has been made in Uganda. Asebo, how are you? Eh? Yeah. We, we want to see that uh, this uh, comes to uh, 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 the, the viewers that are watching us right now. And of course, uh, how are you doing, Sebo? I'm all right, sir. How are you? Okay, what's your name? Yeah, this is Nkaiza Joseph. 
the international from Wismba town. Okay. Now, now this is your innovation, right? Yeah. What inspired you to do this? Ah, uh, of course. Uh, we still have a uh, a lot, a lot, uh, uh, a need of uh, some of these uh, type of innovations, so that we can we, we can uh, we can get more jobs in our country, and even to help our people, so that we we can develop through science and technology. It's you know call it the. You know, what call it one Uganda. Uganda. Eh hey, atenge duka speed chikumi nkaga nge itambule ni kujia musambu ninge ina piston edge emuyoka eh hey, tete tifule chenja ulo era basinga mwajira ba mukalulu eno najua mukulembeze nga agenda mukalulu nange ne muwa etofali eh hey, agenda no nyaka lulu era twa mwajira bange itambula na yee western region central president wafe uh, ageza ko okutumbula ba innovators innovation Ah, innovator. steam. Era ni mfuna chance ju daga umkulembeze ni njimu laga na ajisima Na ala gira wa nkuleko Bili kumina musamu Nisawe ya liru Sina chena linda vya tenga ba manyi Echo ni nchi vako ni mkwase ni mulo Kirene ukuji mkwasa kwenye nini Siri ya damu na ala gira Mini sala sansa antekeno lejo Sele vya li doktor ya liru ya tumwesije Na ina kiri zanti yonu mwana ngena mkula kwa Nene sawe ya liru sifu na anga koini kati 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 uh, muzee yeye kwa tidem muzee yeye kwa tidem kati uh, so uh, tulowoza nti ebintu bigenda uh, kubera better guno gwe mwako gusose mu Uganda okufuna olunaku uh, ba innovators mwe nawe mujja ni tubanga tulina awards za ba innovators tulowoza tulowoza nti ebintu bigenda kuterera nyo irana irana sanyuse nyundi musanyu fe byadala nti twafunye chance na fe mukulembeze ngabo yatuwa ministry irana tamna atulowoza ku na fe tufunona ku lukola chi Uruwete, ulula gensi utuse, adeno kufuna chansi, netuwe laba kufu wa inoveta. Hei, kwa chwa dechizu unti ya wana, tetuwe manyi, ubele yungu gamba nze waka wina inge ulusu inzo sanga, yore ya wate ya waka wa singa ku. Katetu, chitu pika okubanga, okuongiru mtu kucha ankaranyi okuvama, echa waka wina nze ino singa ku. Katu nyonyi guwa juko zera. Hei. Because uh, this is getting to be so interesting. Uh, I, I, I just want to have a look. Kate nyonye no, cha kutuwari debanga cha jikola. E nyonye, uh, egenda miyaka kumpe musamvu. E koze yu testi za minunde satu. E koze yu testi za minunde satu. E koze yu testi za minunde satu. Nenga... Zunati is very successful. We want to do a savinji. Rusa Kasenta Ka innovation. Ngatekariko. Are they to training you name Mala? Much interesting at Kolachi. Chet pushing. It is ours to know our Mukwa is wang. Nothing so bow a chance. Oh Mukisa. Oh Kakasati. At least to get to the younger Gato Wongo. The unit to flying Mutufu. Are you? Ile uno yuko pilot kati ya aliwo. Hey, co pilot yon. Ya chikiri dawa la. I'm fine. You're fine? Yes. You love this? Yes. What's your name? Tuasima Promise. Huh? Tuasima Promise. 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 Go in the plane. Let me see you go in the plane, man. Go in the plane. I want to talk to you when you're in the plane. Yes. Yes. Now, Promise. Promise. Do you know how to fly? I have not yet. Yes. 
and even where I will live at home, I'm the only child that they allowed me to come, and that's the chance that I got, and they told, and even my parents allowed me to come, and me too. Even I was happy. Even at home, I did not, I did not want to stay at home. I just. I just wake up early in the morning, I do my things, and I come, I run. And I come when I'm rushing to make an airplane. Okay, okay. what do you say to the president of Uganda uh, for having allowed to have such a kind of innovation? I just want to say thank you for everything that you have done for us. That's the only thing okay. I can say. That's the only thing that she got to say, uh, you know, a junior pilot right there. And, of course, enjoying a moment. I just love these innovations. This is where we are. Everything big starts small. And when you see this, definitely, Uganda, we're going somewhere. The, the, this plane has been on test three times. And, of course, we're waiting for the other time where it's going to be on test and find out what's going to be like. And, of course, I want to thank these people uh, that have done whatever it takes. Okay, there's quite another bike right here that I want to uh, enjoy for a moment and uh, find out what it is, is this all about. Jesus Christ. Christ, man, this is good. What is this? This is now um, a steam motorcycle. Steam motorcycle, uh, 80% is all made up over here. The plastics, as you can see, uh, there is a lot of timbers, and the place where you can put a screen uh, or your phone, then you go watching, mm. which, is, which is more expensive here in, in, our, in our country. But all of this, we are trying to, we are trying to promote innovations such that we, we, we can develop in all corners. Because we, we still have here a, a lot of unemployment use, and we got a chance now in some, some areas we have electricity. And there are, there are guys who are making doors, windows. So when you, you, you get them, when, when you give them an idea, to, to innovate, they can see us at the start and do things which can even help our, our, our people. In Uganda, we, can, we cannot even make a, a wheelbarrow, which is very hard. But now, it, it's our time. I encourage you, Ugandans, to work hard and we promote our country through every corner. Okay. Whether there is opportunity. That's a beautiful word that comes in from one innovator right, we have right here at Kololo. And of course, uh, you have seen uh, such things that have come from uh, creativity. And he makes sure that he puts his heart out. And of course, when you look at the other side, you see another truck right here uh, packed. And, uh, and it's just uh, in, in the brim of enjoyment. And I read the number plate or the signal right here. It says Uganda 2. Dingo man, Uganda too. And of course, I think this is the man himself. How are you doing, Zibo? I'm okay, how are you? Good, good man. Tell yeah. me about this ride. But I'm uh, not talking in Uganda. It's uh, okay? Yes, you can, man. Okay. You are okay, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. I'm not okay, no. I'm not okay, no. I'm not okay, no. Ghetto mechanic. Ghetto mechanic. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. 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 That's why into two two sessions can obviously be won't you? Mukuteka mukwango male banga dene nyongo teka m ate baba kulaba baba la banga gwe eya laluka eya vako nenga te choko la chibera chat dalanga now ya galensi ebere ya many to sango kusomoze woko ya Singa singa kate uh, president Museveni nga wata andi say mm -hmm. uh, kugamba anti ba innovators to ba wa words to ba win tandi kwa to ba to yeah. ma launching in the market singa uh, president uh, uh, akuwa in tandi kwa igwanga lina ni kubakinga up yeah. osobolo kole bintu nga bino ni available to market yes chisoboka chisoboka eh kunganya ba geto yuti banange bona nembale tani tugato obongo ne tukola ne byaka byo singa ko wano tukola amato eh? ya yeah. Amato genyini. Amato genyini is a speedboat. 
e, neriduka bulonji na olwo kubanti ebikola ebikoze sewa bya bei oluse ebimutule meriruwa nga twandi koze kisinga kawo nengo olwo kubate tuyina ne tugamba katukoleko kye tusobolo kola tulankwe motoka yo mwana ndabe kaganja kala kamerene kukwate ngo oli mwana mchiduka kino Yaman, 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 Okay. Eh kano wa ya yakola yakola wa yalingi ya fe. Okay. Yeah man. Okay. Kale njagala njagala bana Uganda ba wechi gamba chisemba yo chimu. Mm. Bana Uganda chemba saba chimu mwe na je muri. Nti chona chokola chipike na manyi togwa musubi chisoboka. Chisoboka echo chokola cho nokufuro wa kabisi ngobera ngo saze wonti gweke nyini ochikole. Yeah. Tewenyo matoti ya nebo bato ina mukozesa chocho ina. One day Nsi ya jaku manyanti oli wakabi. Ya man. Ya man, one day the world will get to know that you are the best. Don't give up on life man. Do whatever you gotta do uh, so that the world sees whatever that you have. Of course, I'm enjoying this wonderful day as the innovators right here in Uganda are exhibiting their innovations right at Kololo Ground. And of course, uh, I want to touch base with other people. Don't go away because a lot is yet to come. It's a beautiful feeling right here and of course uh, looking at all these innovations coming in. I want to thank all of you that have joined us right here in Kololo and those of you that have been following us uh, since we started uh, this uh, looking for innovators to come and be part of uh, uh, this wonderful the taint asset. The innovation is going on and uh, the vibe is really 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 high uh, and of course this is going to be uh, live on very many TV stations and it's going to be live on different media uh, companies and all social media platforms but i also want to give a special thanks to the science and technology minister of uganda who has made it a part of his burden to make sure that they push this to a different level and of course every person that works in the sti and of course uh, the president's office thank you very much for making these uh, happen and uh, we want to make a, a note to all of us that uh, the president has an initiative to make sure that we all get what we need to get but we need uh, not to give up we need to push whatever that we get push and uh, get uh, to see it there as long as it's gonna give uganda the best of the best that's what we're interested about and of course uh, that's why we're here right at kololo to make sure that we meet all the exhibitors and uh, they get the mileage uh, they deserve uh, many times these exhibitors are not uh, taken care of they're not given the attention uh, that they deserve but definitely today uh, it is a day uh, that uh, it is possible and this is going to be happening every year every year this is going to be happening and uh, uh, we're going to make sure uh, that uh, these people uh, get the mileage uh, that uh, they want i want to be joined by uh, this uh, wonderful uh, lady that i'm, I'm uh, uh, finding here at farasi and finding out what does a farasi has to offer how are you doing my dear good 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 please please come and talk what's your name uh, Priscilla. Priscilla. Yes, please. Tell me about Farasi. Oh, Farasi, we are into tractor production and implements. So, um, that's the tractor over there. It's a 75 horsepower. Yes, just, just look at the camera as, uh, as, uh, uh, as you check, yes. Ah, uh, okay. Um, we're into tractor and implementation manufacturing. So, our goal is to have an assembly plant here for both the tractor and the implements. 
So right now, this is a prototype of the tractor. A few of them are working in Ajumani and um, Noya. So um, these are part of the implements that have been made here. Right here? Right here. So most wow. of them is made from iron casting. Wow. So these are the rough ones, but this is a finished product. So okay. this is just trying to show you the process. Okay. So and over here on the, this table as well. So most, most of the components here are what make the plow. The one that is attached to the tractor right now. So the only thing imported um, on the ones that are here are the bearings. Otherwise, the rest of this is done here. It's done here? Yes. Now, uh, tell me about uh, if this innovation yes. that the president is pushing yes. goes yes. forward, what do you think is going to happen to you? Um, first, we need more funding to carry on this work. Then two, if we could get um, into an agreement with government to be a north taker of our tractors, then we'll be able to supply tractors in the country because at least annually, by now, we need about 2,000 tractors. So if we manufacture them here, that means we don't have revenue go getting out of here. Um, the farmer has access to the tractors and the implements. And government will make revenue out of it at the end of the day. There's so much added advantages to that if we do get the tractors manufactured here. Give us the guarantee that the tractors that you make are durable and the farmer will not suffer. Um, one, the jury, but we are already using them in the field because we needed to test them. Then two, the reason we are confident that they'll work, we've been importers for tractors for over 15 years. And most of the tractors we kept importing, we had to adjust them, uh, say reinforcements, change something here and here through fabrication and whatnot. So now the tractor we have made is for Ugandan soil, Ugandan terrain and our fuel. These are amazing, amazing. Yes. Man, that's so, so good. I, I just love it when, when she says, we have made a tractor for Ugandan soil, for Ugandan use. Many a times when we import things that are not good for our conditions right here. But these are people that have studied the conditions in Uganda, and definitely you have the best. Man, thank you so much. I want to see you on top. Right. And, and, and to that, we're going to have um, spare parts, uh, the service and maintenance within the region. So that, that is an added advantage for the tractor being manufactured here. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so have much. A good day. Thank you. You have a good day too. Man, I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying this kind of, uh, you know, exhibition. And it's pretty, pretty beautiful when you look at uh, uh, manufacturers, at innovators, and they are so passionate about uh, whatever they are innovating. And uh, of course, that for me, this gives me a great oomph. This gives me a great uh, 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 vision that Uganda is going somewhere. Let me touch base with uh, Chambogo University right there. And and uh, uh, check out what Chambogo has got to offer. I see a lot of good things right here, but Chambogo University, which has a vision to be a center of academic and a professional excellency. And of course, with that kind of uh, uh, vision and a mission to add advance and promote knowledge and development of skills in science, technology, and education and search other fields having regular regard to quality, uh, equality, progress, and transformation. They've come uh, to uh, showcase and exhibit what Chambogo University has got to offer. How are you doing, gentlemen? I just need someone else just to talk me about this product, and I'll, I'll be just happy. How are you doing, sir? I'm fine. What's your name? Uh, Waiso Latif. Waiso Yes. Okay. Now tell me what we're doing here today. Today we have come to exhibit our products. Uh, which we are obtaining from West Plastics. West Plastics? Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, we have observed West Plastics are destructing our environment. And there is uh, a good product that we can obtain out of it. And uh, we, have, we are recycling plastics. And you're making use of them. Yeah. And uh, our product that we are obtaining from West Plastics is if you are a liquid fuel. Liquid, liquid, liquid fuel, fuel, yes. Yeah. Show me how it This is liquid fuel. That is liquid fuel. Made in Uganda. Made in Uganda. But by Chamago University. What, what is the difference between this fuel and other fuel? 
the one the best difference i can give is locally made it can be maybe free of charge if you have the knowledge you can make it the other one you can import you must buy you must income money yes Yes, what do you say? What's the rest? How long has it taken you to get this? Yeah, it has been long because it involves a lot of research. So it has been long, but finally we are there. So is this on market already? Not yet, but it has been tested. Because we have a full minister which is deals with energy, we have tested it with the, the minister of energy. So this can be used for cooking? For cooking, yes. And it can also be used in diesel engines. Yes. When the president of Uganda is uh, geared in giving innovators a good start. Yes. What do you talk about this initiative, uh, STI and the president of That is very good if it really reaches the uh, the innovators, it is very good and it's going to help the economy of this country. Yes. Now, now do you have young people involved in uh, the, the making of this fuel? Or you only have professors and old, old people? Because uh, lately I've found out that when we involve, involve only the old people, uh, the generations that are to come, they don't know what we have to have. Yeah, they are involved. Because you can't do this alone. They are thinking, because this is waste plastics, I may, maybe somehow get shy in collecting. But for the younger, the younger ones, you can easily collect, give them something small. And even the process, they can really be there and they take on, but they, they lack the technical part. When it comes to analysis, knowing why is it, is it exactly now fuel, is it diesel, that one they may fail. But they are involved in the production. Yes. And thank you so much. And in your last word? I just call upon... People to think more. Uganda can do everything. We can do this. It is possible. Yes. Thank you so much, man. This is a world of possibilities. And, of course, we're looking to say it is possible to do everything. As long as you don't give up on that dream, it is possible you can achieve it. And that's what uh, we are here to see. All lots of other exhibitors come in here uh, to exhibit quite different uh, stuff right here. And uh, I want to join uh, another team right here that has got uh, other uh, exhibitors. And, and, and I know uh, that uh, uh, this is a, a part of Safe Border, uh, which uh, you definitely know that Safe Borders uh, use, uh, they, 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 are, they, they are promoting a lot of our youth. Many youth uh, are getting employment uh, through these uh, safe borders. And I want to find out, uh, I want to talk to someone right here uh, so that we find out what is it that they have uh, to offer. Yes. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Talk to someone here. Okay. Right here. Yeah, it's okay. Tell me, tell me, what are we exhibiting here today? Yeah, today we are basically, we have brought out our electric system. We do some of the things. Actually, we just convert most of them. And the rest we do from zero. From zero? You make them from Uganda? From Uganda here. Yeah, have? so we have electric bikes. Electric bike? Yeah, Is it the same? No, we, okay. are, we are somehow set. Yes. This is Border Vec. Border Vec? Yeah, Border Vec International. Located in Tindachigowa Road. Yeah, so this is our electric bike. This is one prototype. This is a geared one. Yeah, it's a geared type. We also have a commuter, see, the other side. If you want to come behind and, and, and talk from, from, from this angle, from this angle, from here, yes. Okay. So this is a geared bike. It's a geared electric bike. This is our battery. We have our gear with a motor. So it is a combination of two, a gearbox with a motor, an electric motor. Yeah, this is one. We also have one. That one there, you're seeing, it's a commuter. For it has no gear, it's just a motor. The way it is, just a motor. No changing gears, you just accelerate. This one you can change. Why, why, why do you, okay, this one you can change the gears. Those, now, that one, is it automatic? 
This is basically like the normal automatic, no changing of gears. Like the the automatic car. Automatic car. The twist you give it, that's the power, that's the speed you have. But from here you can control. One, two, three, four. You can do the control from here. That one, you just accelerate, you give your twist in the throttle, it will give you what you need. Uh, we started out in around 2017. Yeah, though in the last two years, we've been concentrating on the bikes. Yeah, we've been concentrating on the bikes. Right now they are available, and we have produced over 66 of them that are within Uganda and some are in Kenya. Okay. Yes. Now, now, this innovation where the president is uh, empowering innovators like you, if you manage to get a push from the government, where do you see yourself in the next five years? Uh, in the next five years, we're expecting to build over a thousand, a thousand batteries, these batteries you're seeing, a thousand batteries plus bikes, and also including more products. Right now we are coming up with new products that are new in Uganda. They are somewhere already, but most of them are new in Uganda. It's a first time thing in Uganda. One of those we have, we are producing our power banks. We have that generator there. It can give you your power anytime you need it. 240, like the normal wall, wall power, yes? All right. I hope yeah. my camera can get the generator. Yeah. Right there. I believe it's good. That's the generator right there. The generator uh, that has been manufactured. Uh, but these guys to make sure uh, that uh, it gives you power. This is it. We have the SC input. We have our battery. Those are the batteries that we use. We manufacture these ones. The, the very batteries that we use in the motorbikes, the motorcycles, motorbikes, they are the very batteries we are using in our generator. Yeah, so this is our inverter. We want to use it right now, actually, on our TV. That's why they are setting it up. And... If it comes out again, or it comes in a, a bit in some few minutes, you'll be able to see powering our, our TV. All right, thank you very much, man. I will come back when, when this TV is on and check and see what, what we can more do. More robust work. You can weld from it. Most of the things can power your TV, generator, it can, oh, sorry, not generator, refrigerator, a lot of things. Thank you, sir. Yes. Thank you. What's your name again? Yeah, this is Mwonga Joy. I'm lead fabricator, board of international. Thank you so very much. Uh, that's a wonderful one. And of course, uh, I want to join uh, the electric motor cycle right, uh, right in this tent. How are you doing? Good. I want to find out what we have here. So basically, this is, I'm called Carol Ahabwe. Carol Ahabwe. Yes. Are you a rider or a maker? <laughs> we are makers. Okay. Okay. Yes. Tell me about what you make. So we make electric motorcycles. So Zembo basically is a startup that is specializing in sustainable and innovative mobility solutions for Africa. So basically we ensure that our riders who come into the border business save, unlikely how they handle issues with the electric motors, with the fuel motorcycles. For us it is different. You don't use fuel? We don't use fuel. We just use a battery, which can take you off for a maximum of 70 to 80 kilometers. And per, for each charge, you find that maybe a client can pay something like 1,000, 2,000. Where, whereas the person who is on fuel is spending a lot. For us, our riders, we are sure by all means they are saving. Then the other thing, of course, it is zero emission. So we conserve the environment. It doesn't pollute the environment with fumes. As you can see, we don't have anything here that puts out fumes to the environment. So when our battery is fully recharged, it can take you for a maximum of seven to eight kilometers. We have 21 stations around Kampala. And right now we are focusing on Masaka Corridor. By the end of this month, we shall be in Masaka. So. We want to take this mobility to Masaka to ensure that even those people can enjoy the benefits of electric. T tell me something. Uh, this bike, is it on the market? Yes, it is on the market. Currently, we are having 200 riders on the road, and they are really loving the product. How much does this bike go? Five million cash. Five million cash. Yes. We also do rent to own services, so our down payment right now is 400,000. So every week a client puts 65,000. So, 
Yes, for people who do not have cash, they can come in for higher purchase services. Yes, down payment, the starting pay, 65,000, which is affordable to a Ugandan. Yes. And the spare parts, is it accessible? Yes, as you can look at our setup, we have things that are available. Let's look at this setup right here. Yes. Yeah. So, so, so these are our spare parts right yeah, These are our spare parts. Those are available in Uganda. Those ones, you can get them from Uganda. Anywhere. Any anywhere shop. from the local market. You can go to Chiseka. You can go anywhere and get them, except for these. These ones, we do import them. But we ensure that anything that is to do with electricity or that is an electric part, spare part, our riders can access it from our offices, but anything that is non-electric, they can afford it from the local market. Let's talk about the charging unit because it's, it's, uh, it's, it can be very challenging to buy a bike that you use for once and you have to look for a charging station. Can someone have the charging station in their house? No, it's not possible at the moment. What we want to ensure as a Zembo is that our riders in Kampala can save. And there is no way you can save when you're charging for yourself. So when we charge for this client, this client will come and pay according to the percentage that is on the dashboard. Let's say a client is having 50%. It means he has used 50% already. So it means he's going to pay 1,000 to get a... Um, to get yeah a top up charge so you find that for us when they come to our stations it is a bit cheaper so in other words we want to ensure that a Ugandan can save by all means right now we don't have a charging station here we have an automated charging cabinet an automated charging cabinet this is our cabinet, so when a client comes, they always have swapping cards. So, of course, there are details they have to put in here. After putting them, this cabinet will have to open for them. It will open, the rider will remove the battery, put inside his motorcycle, put inside again the one that has been drained, the one he has been using on the road. He puts it back, closes, and then it charges. So yes. can go with the other battery. Yes. So there's no time to waste. No time to waste. If it comes to our charging station, it is a one-minute swap. Oh, I thought, I thought you, you, you have to stay there no, and wait. No, 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 no. You find batteries that are already charged. Okay. Yes. Thank you so very much. Thank you too. for Carol from Carol. Zembo Motorcycles. Zembo Motorcycles. Yes. Thank you so much. That is a beautiful one. And for you, all of you that uh, are looking at uh, Border Borders, uh, which is a lucrative business in Uganda, uh, definitely you need to say uh, to think about something like that. Now here with me, I'm looking at uh, IUEA Electric, an IUEA Electric bike. I just want to find out what what uh, IUEA has to do. How are you doing, Sibyl? I'm very well, thank you. What's your name? My name is Ivan Sentongo okay. from International University of East Africa, okay. and uh, we have come to exhibit our innovations at uh, the university. We have the electric bike. Okay, the electric motorbike here is a prototype from, uh, made at the International University, assembled. 60% uh, you can see our flame. And then this is a, a battery, electric battery. Doesn't use fuel, doesn't use oil, and it doesn't pro emit fumes. And so it is very friendly to the environment. And so we are already ahead of on the market. And this bike is on sale right now. And <laughs> only 7 million. But if you are taking a huge um, bulk of the product, we can negotiate. Yes. So this is available on the market? Already. It is available on the market and we are... I found at Kavala, at Kansanga, Gaba Road, and uh, 
you can always make the order and ride electric tell me, bike. Tell me, uh, how, how should I take something that does not take fuel and I have to always uh, ride charge. my bike from Masaka to come and charge at, your, <laughs> at, 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 at Kansanga? Really? It no. doesn't make sense. Wherever you are, we will give you its charger. It uh, charges by electricity so and you plug it. As well. Yes. So and it's you. Not like you have to come uh, uh, what I was saying. We are looking into regenerative charging, that's self-charging. So in, in a short time we shall be giving it an alternator. Someone can be riding and it is charging at the same time. So we are working on that even now. So how many kilometers can it go? It can, it can go over 60 kilometers. 60 kilometers? Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and let me tell you this. Uh, uh, no, before you get to Yeah, before. And let me tell you something new, you haven't known about it. You can use only one kilowatt hour. That's what you need for 1,000 to charge it fully. And that one can take you for over 60 kilometers. And, and you are you, for only 1,000. But, but, but now I buy this thing and I take it at home, right? Mm. So I don't need to pay you. Of course, you don't need to, What do you do? You, you buy your bike, you buy your charger, you keep on riding, no one will bother you. As simple as that. But if I don't want to buy the charger, mm -hmm. I have to look for you to charge. Uh, you can look for me to charge because you have a, a charging station at the campus. Yeah. Yes, sir. You wanted to say something? Yes, I wanted to say that our, our electric bike is easy. You can always have the charger with you so that each time you need you use it, you'll be able to recharge and it will take you miles. Uh, it is the first of its kind and we are still adding value and I know by the end of next year we shall have a different uh, innovation that will keep improving it and I would encourage many Ugandans to come and buy this IUEA electric uh, motorbike so that we pro promote our own innovations. Thank you so uh, very much, man. It's my and, and another thing I want to add on that. We've been uh, suffering from global warming. And I've can, I can see some people from uh, different countries are in the summit discussing about how they can curb global warming. And I think combustion engines have been a big problem to our environment. That's why you, you can find here in Kampala during the night you can't even cover yourself. A single person, I, I wonder how people who are not single, like married, how they, they cope up. Because the global warming has been a result of engines, so we've been trying so hard to neglect the engines, we promote our batteries. These are lithium-ion batteries. So that's the fact. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Uganda, this is it. This is it. I would also encourage my many Ugandans to bring their students to International University of East Africa, especially in the engineering department, because we have different sections of, of engineering. We have electrical engineering, we have civil engineering, uh, we have petroleum engineering. So I would like to inform the general public out there that we are still admitting students at International University of East Africa, and we have invited all of you to come to showcase what we are doing at the university on Wednesday tennis. Please come and see what goes on, including our our workshop. Okay. Yes. All right, that's it, that's it, man. These guys are just having it at uh, the uh, uh, International University of East Africa. Yes. Innovations right there by our, our own students, our own children, our own we youth. Even made the and, uh, and this is so, so During good, man. This, this is a ventilator. ventilator. Man, this is, this is so good. And, uh, and a globe? A clock? Yeah. Wow, this is so good, man. And, and definitely, this is Uganda. And uh, if we take it on like that, the world is going to be a better world. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Uh, let me move on to another stall right here where I'm meeting uh, uh, what we do right here at a microfuse. And, and of course, sir, how are you doing? Yes, I'm okay. How are you? What's your name? I'm Ivan Karugava. Ivan Karugava. Karugava, okay. yes. What do we have here? Uh, this is Microfuse Computer Technologies. It's a company that does consumer electronics and manufacturing. Uh, from the whole design of 
consumer electronics. I think what you're familiar with are the, the mobile phones, the power banks and everything. Yeah, so that is what we do. And uh, right now in the market, we have the Microfuse stick computer. Uh, it is something that any Ugandan can attach to their TV back home or projector and you have a PC. So what you do on your TV, yeah. So for your kids, you can uh, get this device at 200,000 Ugandan shillings, designed by us, and you can support us by Uganda, build Uganda. So it's a tiny PC, you can connect mouse, keyboard, and uh, kids can have e-learning, they can type their documents, they can all sorts of things. On your TV? On your TV. Is this available on the market? Yes, it is available on the market. Is and it a guarantee that someone, uh, when someone takes it, it's not going to break? Uh, what we ensured was, uh, as we were designing, we put into consideration uh, the lifespan of the product and uh, its durability, the material we used in the manufacturing and all that. We, we, we really optimized that. Yeah. So uh, Microfuse is a, it's a big team. We do have electronics engineers that uh, do the design of the, you call them motherboards. Then uh, we do have uh, mechanical engineers that do enclosure design and casing and uh, structure, thermal analysis, all, all, all that kind of stuff. So it's a really, really professional consumer electronics design process. Yeah, then uh, uh, from the feedback we got from our clients, Right now we are in the process of making a tablet PC. So what we did was to, to put this entire product into a tablet form. But uh, we are still working on it, like uh, prototyping and uh, the whole, yeah, as you, as you, as you get. Then uh, when the product is ready, we shall also launch the product and put it on the market. Yeah, now, the, I want you to comment about this initiative by SDI yeah, yeah. and uh, the President's Office to make sure that you innovators have got a, a, a day of celebration uh, at least once in a year, like other uh, uh, sectors in the country. What do you think about this innovation? I think it's a very nice platform because as most innovators actually, as you know, innovators and scientists, they usually sit back in their labs and uh, do all their stuff. But I think as Uganda, we need that platform or that place whereby whatever you've been working on is put out there so that the world gets to know about what you're doing. You never know who you could partner with, your next partner, who, who you could work with, who could uh, assist you maybe financially. So I think it's a very good initiative and it will take us an extra mile. Thank with you, our sir. innovations. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Eh? All right. It's a beautiful uh, moment right here as I celebrate what Uganda has. I also want to thank uh, our Minister for Science and Technology, Honorable Musenera, for this wonderful uh, push uh, that Uganda gets to recognize uh, some of uh, our innovators. And this is going to be every year. Uh, so look out for uh, listings on our social media platforms and get to know what's happening. I want to join uh, these other innovators right here. How are you doing, sir? Okay, how are you? What's your name? Uh, my name is uh, Douglas Baguma. Douglas Baguma. Yes. What do we have here today? So this is Innovex. Innovex, yes. Innovex is a Ugandan company. And what we do is we are in the space of manufacturing, designing and manufacturing electronics. As you can see, this is what they call uh, an electronic circuit board. Um, designed and manufactured in Uganda by us. Wow. Yes, yes. Wow. And the typical application, so this is what we call uh, a smart metering system that we use on solar systems. The typical application is you can see right here on a solar system. So this is what we make, and we have made a thousand of these products already sold in the market. So this is already on the market? Right? Yes, this is already in the Ugandan market. Ugandan made? Ugandan made, yes. Ugandan okay. made. Not imported? Not imported, 100%. Inclusive of the plastic. You can look at our packaging. So this is our packaging. 
Uh, right there is our address in Intinda where we make, we design and make all our products. So 100% Ugandan, 100% uh, Bubu. Bubu. Yes. Wow. This is good. Why should someone have this? So we are solving, with this, with this product, we are solving a very huge challenge in the access to electricity in Uganda. Uh, it's surprising to know, but not every Ugandan has access to electricity. So they're left to use sources such as solar, and uh, solar is a very good solution to provide electricity for millions of Ugandans today. So these are actually yaka meters for solar. They monitor how solar systems are performing, and they provide this, this data in real time to solar companies so that they can monitor and uh, operate and maintain these installations. Yes. Man, thank you so very much. Thank you. Now, now comment about the innovation, like uh, the push by the president. The president says, all of you innovators, come, let's meet together and uh, celebrate each other for once every year and get a push into the market. What do you think about it? Well, I think there's never been an exciting time to be a Ugandan, especially a Ugandan innovator. Hearing that the president is taking keen interest in the work that Ugandans are doing is very exciting. Very many Ugandans with very good ideas only believe these ideas can be supported externally. It's good to see that this movement is starting from the top and definitely for an innovator like us, that's very exciting news and we must say that the future is very bright. And coming together to celebrate as innovators, understand what other innovators in the, are doing in the market is definitely a step in the right direction. Thank you. Thank you very Thank you much. So much. It is a step in the right direction. And of course, the words of uh, an innovator here saying, this is good. We can't wait to see Uganda on the next level. And of course, uh, there's not any other time for us to feel proud to be part of the Pearl of Africa than a time like this where we have our own products on the market. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. All right. The moment is still going on and of course exhibit exhibitors are still uh, in the play. Lots of people are being set up and uh, uh, quite a lot is happening. I want us uh, to uh, just uh, slide out a little bit and uh, of course uh, stay with us because there is quite a lot that is yet to come. The minister is going to come here to flag off this exhibition uh, but I also want to remind everybody that voting is uh, on. Uh, please vote and voting is closing very, very soon. Please vote for your best innovator. You have all the categories that are listed and if you have voted for that uh, particular uh, person then we are waiting on on Wednesday the 10th of uh, uh, this wonderful month when the president of Uganda his excellency Yoweri Kaguta Museveni Tihabura will be right here at Kololo ground to of course uh, get a push uh, get uh, a startup for all the innovators that would have gone through but remember I also say that uh, this is going to be happening every year once every year we're going to be having uh, calling all innovators to come here and uh, we get a heads up get to meet, get to celebrate each other, but also get uh, a word uh, for who has done what in every kind of sector. Thank you very much for joining us. We still have a lot, uh, a lot of things to show you as we are, uh, you know, going up and around. We are inviting the whole population, everybody to come to Kololo Grounds tomorrow as uh, the exhibition shall be kicking in so that you know what Uganda has to make. Big Sam is my name. Let me just take some water. Don't go away.
Welcome to the tennis ground. Of course, we are still in Kololo where everything is happening. Exhibitors are just exhibiting whatever they have as innovations. And of course, uh, today with me uh, on the tennis ground, I have a Queens of Tourism. Now, on this platform, uh, tennis ground is just not only education and skilling young people. Uh, we also celebrate uh, uh, tourism. And I've got the Queens of Tourism right here with me. And this beautiful tent, as beautiful as they are, they represent Uganda. When you look at them, they represent all the parts of Uganda. And of course, what a pleasure for me to have them right here uh, uh, or at Kololo Grounds. And of course, I just want to be chatting with each one of them to find out what's up and how do they feel about being part of the Innovators and Science uh, Week right here in Uganda. The Queens at their best. How are you doing? Nah, you, you, you need to start uh, being audible, man, um, and, you know, and there's not going to be judge here, so. <laughs> How do you feel? Feel great. What's your name? I'm Chebet Bismutai. You represent? Eastern region. Eastern region. Yeah. Okay. Now, now, now Chebet. Yes. What do you feel about science and technology innovation in Uganda? Uh, it's really a great thing. The fact that it's, um, it's bringing in new... Uh, new uh, new technology yeah and the fact that uh, we are going to use the digital part of it to market like tourism yeah it's a great thing it's a great thing yeah now, that, 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 that's uh, 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 one of the ladies that are, are really adore because uh, you know uh, she comes from the land where the fastest people in Uganda are you know and and uh, that, that, that's where Chief Protich comes from right? exactly and yeah who else Cheptegay, Chemtai, Peru. I don't know. Uh, are you also that first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so beautiful. And and I've got another beautiful queen right here. I don't know what to do, but I need I need to go round and round and round, and I need to get to all these people. It's a, it's, a, it's a great play uh, pleasure to have all these beautiful queens right here representing Uganda. What's your name, my dear? I'm Chuo Molo Jane Rose Ndagire. Jane Rose Ndagire. Yes. And you represent which region? Buganda region. Buganda region. Yeah. And you need to greet everybody in Buganda, you know. I'm Wasiri Omchia Nyoba Sebo Nyoba Nyabo, Science of Balaba. I'm also happy to see you two big so. I'm happy. I'm, I'm the happiest, man. I, I always tell people that I'm the only man allowed to stay next to beautiful women. <laughs> and I don't have to say anything about that. But that's all right. How do you feel to be here? I feel very excited. Okay. Uh, I'm very anxious and very eager to see the various innovations that okay. people have. And as well as to communicate what we have in stock for the public. Now, now, now one of the innovations here is uh, uh, Matoke. And Matoke is... Uh, uh, a step of food for Baganda and uh, Uganda. But uh, one of the things uh, that uh, has been made out of matoke and banana uh, fibers is hair. Women hair. I, 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 I can't wait to see you putting on matoke hair. I can't wait to put it on as well. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. What do you think about that? That's a really, really innovative. I'm very proud of whoever has come up with it because we need more of that. Yeah. We need more of using various craft, various anything to innovate and bring up something like to use a mask, maybe mask material to make hair or to make anything. Like it's very nice to see Ugandans being this innovative because with that we can go as a country and stop even importing or exporting like goods and just use what we have and sell it out there and get more money from it. That's the tourism queen of Buganda. And of course she's saying that's the best. We need to use our very own things to make sure uh, that definitely uh, Uganda gets uh, the best of whatever they have to get. Now next here is another beauty queen right here the smile is uh, you know contagious she is just the best that you can ever want how are you doing my dear i'm okay huh? thank you see, see now you can hear the voice i'm okay thank you could you please be a little bit more louder i'm okay thank you okay. what's your name my name is namkwa rashida rashida yes what do you represent i represent buganda and uganda at large uganda and buganda at large yes why are we here we are here today to learn about different innovatives that people have taken their time to do and we are here personally in this tent to 
promote tourism through digital. Since we are here I'm in, under the Minister of Health and Technology, and in technology we have digital, and we can use digital to promote tourism. So our main aim here is to promote tourism through using digital platforms. Thank you. Now, if looking forward, this innovation and this whole process is going to be every year. This is the first time it happens. What do you think about this presidential in, uh, uh, initiative? Um, I think it is a very good idea and it is very brilliant because it is going to help very many people out there. Yeah, it is an innovative that is having different different things like you've said that you've said um, people using matoke to do hair. It is a very good thing which is going to help people there to come up with something having this thing in their head that one day one time they will be here on this expo to show their to show whatever they have done and maybe give, be given an upper hand to also become better people in their lives and you know improve the economic way of their living you had the words of the queen you know improve the best way of their living i want to cross over to the other side and uh, I, I, i'll tell you that uh, best things are when you tune up and you know exactly what you need to do and uh, of course at Kololo Ground, where innovators are here to exhibit whatever they have. The minister is going to be joining us very soon, and the minister is going to flag up uh, these uh, 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 wonderful uh, 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 innovations ground as people get uh, here to see what they have innovated. I want uh, to introduce, I met this lady very far, and uh, you know, such beauty you cannot comprehend you know and the way she talks and the way she moves uh, up her body everything is just good for her and as uh, the face of tourism in Uganda I take pleasure uh, on this platform of teens definitely I take pleasure to introduce to you one of the best how are you doing my dear I'm fine what's your name my name is Lopwanya Dona Loyor. Loyor? Yes. Which, which region do you represent? Karamoja. Karamoja. Yes. And you gotta speak some Karamoja language right here now. Mata Uganda. Malete there. She simply says, don't worry. Everything is gonna be okay, you know, <laughs> and, and 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 definitely that's how the queen talks all the way from Karamoja. What are we here to do today? Well, today Uganda is on innovation. Yeah, today we are here because Uganda is on its innovations. We are here to discover the science of Uganda. And seriously, right now I'm seeing Uganda on its greatest yes. innovations, and I'm like, yes. wow. Yes. Uganda yes. Is best. Yes. The president has come out to uh, put ferns and push innovations uh, in Uganda. What do you think about it? I think it's great because uh, looking at Uganda, it's having a lot of great uh, innovators. Like when I was entering here, I met the youngest innovator. She's nine like she's she's nine years old, and I was like, wow. So the the president should actually fund this because they are far younger people that could innovate a lot and Uganda is a country full of a lot as you said earlier on we have hair made out of matoke so there is a lot and maybe there could be something made out of sorghum in Karamoja hey, yes yeah, yeah. <laughs> apart from local blue but yeah definitely I want to get to this wonderful beautiful lady right here and of course uh, get to find out how she feels about today what's your name uh, hi Big Tom hi. my name is Lucheng Jomai Marut where you come it's from? Tourism, Karamoja. Karamoja. Yeah. You know, man, Buganda, <laughs> Karamoja taking on the lead right here. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay. Tell me, how do you feel to be here today? I feel excited. First of all, I'm so excited to see different innovations by um, Ugandans. And I'm seeing Kiramoto, they have very beautiful buses. And then different other tents that are exhibiting other different things, science exhibitions by Ugandans. Now, this is uh, the teens uh, 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 ground, and of course, all the teens are watching us. Give a message to someone out there. They're watching, and they want to be like you, you know, moving in style, talking in style. <laughs> okay, hi to everyone out there. And if you want to, if you feel you want to engage yourself in something, go for it. Don't hold yourself back. You never know what may happen, and the people you might meet, and how it might help you in the future. If you are out there and you want to, you feel like you want to do something, she says, go for it. 
Now I feel like I want to take a photo with these queens. So I want to ask them to stand up so I can go for it and take it. And of course, when they are with me, I want to tell you what comes out. And look at the base, you know, and that's how uh, the beauty is out. Now, now they, they always have their way of saying bye-bye to you. Please, please. Yeah. Please, please say bye-bye to these people in style. That's how queens are. That's how queens are, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, uh, that's how they roll up. The queens of tourism, they are here for only one thing, to show the whole world how creative Uganda is and to shine that glory. Thank you very much. And of course, enjoy your moment right here at Kololo Grounds. And I want to talk to another uh, innovator right here. And uh, as, as the queen just takes their seats, I want to take a moment and talk to some of the innovators right here that Uganda has uh, to, to offer. And uh, uh, to get here with me, a beautiful lady right here. I like the hair. I really love the smile and uh, of course uh, she says mindset, think, code, create and solve. How are you doing? I'm all right. How are you? I'm very good. What's your name? I'm Prosy Wanyana. Prosy Wanyana. Yes. Why are you here? Oh, so here we are here to showcase uh, that the kids can do much more than watch TV. Yeah? Yes. Our kids? Yes, your kids. Okay. So starting from as young as six years old, so the kids can go ahead and create the games they play on mommy's phone. They can go ahead and create stories, whatever they are thinking about. You know, sometimes a kid is trying to tell you a story that is not true. You know, it's not true. So they can sit back and uh, create it. So we tell them, we teach them how to create games animations, stories, uh, deal with robotics, so assemble different things to ignite their creativity, their curiosity, and uh, to be problem solvers, yeah? So as you can see, like, uh, we've been able to recreate like a game like, I think you've seen the No Internet game, right? Yes. Yeah, so this No Internet game, uh, just a minute. Uh, I think you've been there and you find like on Google you don't have internet and you you are able to you know play this game and you pass time and you know you see it's jumping yeah so yeah so we can tell them to recreate the games that they are familiar with so you can see like now we've been able to use the, the things they are familiar with drag and drop yeah so which is visual based it is not boring so it's easier for them they can relate to it they love it, it has, it's colorful so they've been uh, you can see we have been able to kind of recreate and mimic yeah so we mimic it and the kid is scoring uh, so it has to dodge uh, these so you see it touches the uh, yeah, yeah. the cactus it dies yeah so the same way the uh, the same way different games, uh, Candy Crush and all these other things, uh, the running games and whatever, they can be able to create them. Instead of a parent getting a child being babysat by the TV, they can sit back and do something creative. Yes. So th this is also going to help them in uh, looking at science games, STEM games, uh, sorry, not, okay, STEM related careers. Yeah. So like uh, maybe they can be computer engineers, they can be software developers. I'm a software developer myself. So we are a team of ladies. And, uh, that is uh, 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 the team of ladies who are focused on making a change in uh, making sure the kids are as creative as possible and so that at the end of the day they are also presenting themselves. So we partner with uh, Teens Crown. Uh, as you can see, Teens Crown is uh, a team of the youth. So in Teens Crown, we have uh, the beauty queens. Then we have uh, the, uh, the kids who are trying to be presenters, digital creators. So we are focused on making sure everything goes uh, well. Uh, as, as you can see, digital is, is, uh, is the mainstream now, right? So um, basically, that's uh, that's uh, the focus. No, thank you yeah. so very much. So is this available on market now in Uganda? Yes. So we have like our, uh, our partners, uh, like you can see, Africa Code Week. Africa Code Week has uh, our partners. So Africa Code Week is a uh, is a movement that started uh, early in 2015. So it is in all Africa. So every year they sponsor us to go to different schools and teach all these kids. So with that, as you can see, we have uh, coding unplugged. So, you know, not all the people 
primary schools or whatever they have computers so now the coding becomes different as you can see i'm using a computer to develop this game so what about the kids who can't really do that so we came up with the uh, coding unplugged so this explains coding uh, trying to figure out uh, the child sees a question and then they try to figure out what exactly is this uh, when would this child wear this and you know so we call it coding un unplugged they can still do some computer things without actually having electricity a computer or electricity yeah so so that's how we came up with these magazines and then we have robotics so as you can see this is a block it's just here yeah. right yeah. so you get a kid put them on a table with this and you go away so a kid has to figure out how do these things go together and trust me if you get an adult and a child a child would do this very Better fast yeah okay. yeah so sometimes we have to like give them a chance uh, be for them to be creative and tap in their curiosity because this is the very young age where the brains are developing and all that so um as for the software it is free it is online so it is called scratch so it, it is very free so we have it uh for online versions and also offline if you don't have internet you can download it and Install it on your internet or on your computer, and you know. Thank you, thank you so You're much. You're most welcome. Wish you the best, man. I want to see you on top. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so much. There you got it. You have children, and uh, they're just uh, seated at home watching things they're not even participating into. This is where to go, and of course, you can only get there when you come to Kololo Ground and meet such a beautiful lady, and she tells you about uh, this uh, wonderful innovation. Uh, I am really, really excited about uh, the way Uganda is going. And of course, uh, let me touch a base with another uh, innovator uh, right here. Okay, let, let me touch base about, uh, with uh, these other innovators right here. And uh, of course, uh, in this tent, uh, you see a lot of robots uh, on play. And uh, these guys have got whatever it takes. And uh, of course, today, we are having all innovators come at Kololo Ground. And, and the president is making sure uh, that uh, these innovators, every year, they get to compete, they get to meet. And of course, uh, he flags them into the market world. I want to talk to someone right here Nobody who is, uh, yes, Evo, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. What's your name? Umar, Dr. Umar Yahya from Islamic University in Uganda. Okay. Yes. What do we have here, doctor? We have lots of uh, interesting products. We have the automated hand washing dispenser. Okay. Does not require you to touch the taps. It is sensor based, as you can see. Oh. Right. So that was a COVID response project. This is soap. So, so it enables you to wash. That's you. Soap. So it, it senses when you are there. Exactly. It senses the proximity of your hand to the tap, and it dispenses the water or soap. This is so good. This right. So good because many of uh, the hand washing uh, equipment that we have, you need actually to touch it. Right. That you is know, true. And, that and is and true. That could be another source of spreading the virus. The virus, correct. And if it can sense that someone is there uh, and it gives you the water, gives you the soap, that's so good. Thank exactly. You so, so is this available on the market? Yes, we can make pre-order and then we make for you depending on what you want. Okay. Uh, some uh, uh, people would like to have one which is not sensor-based. Can you step there, Mansur? So it does exactly the same thing and dispenses water. So that is a mechanized one oh, okay. that does not need power. It is not sensor-based. Oh, okay. So we are giving a variation of the same product to the different uh, users depending you on... just step on it and right. it someone is uh, imparting pressure on right. it and it releases... And you don't, need, you don't need to pedal like these other ones available on the market mm. to pedal with much force. Just your body weight is sufficient. So anything you see above 10 kilograms will, dis will dispense water, right. Okay. Wow. My name is uh, Professor Ismail Jagin, the director. Islamic University in Uganda. Yes, sir. But you can talk about uh, uh, we you already are going to be sp uh, financed to do those machines for several schools in uh, in Busoga. You, ca you can talk about it. Yes, so so once we rolled this out, it it, it reached the market and uh, UNESCO uh, with ICESCO have uh, funded a project to uh, provide this hand washing solution to three districts in the east of Uganda. 
Luca, Wujiri, and Kaliro. So we'll be providing this hand washing solution and uh, they have given a grant of about uh, 18,000 US dollars. W why does it go too far? I mean, why doesn't it start in Kampala? We have them installed in over 20 places so far. Earlier on, we received uh, an early funding from ISESCO, and we produced a few of them, and they are installed in different schools, hospitals, uh, and, and other public shared places. Now if someone is watching us right now, and right. they also want you to install, I mean, the chair, that funding, can, 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 is, that, is that possible? We are welcome to that partnership. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very you so much. much. What else do we have uh, here? We have, uh, this is an automatic uh, flow cleaner. It's a robot. A flow cleaner? Right. I need that one in my house, man. Uh, sure. So, so what it does, uh, it has a guiding sensor that stops it from uh, 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 colliding with objects, but it also has a water sensor down. So it senses where there is water spots on the floor, stops and mops. So as you can see, it's going to move. So it is first calibrating to see which is the free distance in its path. So it will take the longest free distance. Okay, so it's, it's, it's still, okay. So remove, the, he's sensing that object. So it is sensing the water actually. It is, it is looking for the water where it is, but it's also looking for the, the, the longest distance in its path mm. before it starts uh, moving. Can you put water nearby so that uh, in the interest of time? So you sit down there, there's a rug. Mm, mm, mm. I can see a rug. Yeah, so once it starts moving, it's going to. Uh, you, you, you put it in its path. Okay, you have. <laughs> so, it's this oh. so that is the autonomous uh, indoor assistant for cleaning. So you the use case could be two things. You could use it to actually help you mop the house, put the water spots where you want, and it will move around and mop that. Or you could put it in your uh, indoor setting to minimize these indoor falls as a result of sleeping on wet floors. Okay, and so you don't have to be there to guide it? No, you don't have to. Wow. But we have also, uh, we, we have built a mobile application for it. So let's say you have a building with five stories you can have one on each floor and you control each one of them uh, w without being there physically. Okay. Right. Okay. So that is, uh, is, is the second one. Is, is this available market? No, we haven't uh, sent it to the market yet. Right, right. Right. And, and that's the reason we are here, actually, sure. uh, so sure. that the president gets to see these innovations sure. and uh, we see how uh, we can put them on the market so that uh, Uganda can benefit out well, of them. You may want to talk about this one, Dr. Yahya. So this one is a pothole uh, mapping robot. So this is a proof of concept that if you have, for example, this technology implanted on a vehicle, mm. where it is passing, it is going to be looking for pothole uh, spots. So when it finds a pothole in a specific location, it captures its location, that is the GPS coordinates. Yeah. In addition to that, it measures the depth of the pothole. So those two values are transmitted to the cloud in our cloud database, and then this is made available onto the mobile application. So if, for example, you want to use this road uh, from Kololo down to the Airtel Junction, and someone has gone through that road, they could have captured the pothole location. So you have the pothole map for that route. So it guides you. You have the pothole map before you decide to take any specific route. Man, thank you so much. Uh, I, 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 I am, I'm very sure that I'm going to come back here right. when uh, the whole exhibition yeah. is going on and and, uh, and, and we go. And the we have that interesting one. That one recycles bu uh, bulbs. You see that one there? Yes, yes. So if you have dead bulbs, that technology helps you to create light. Wow. It recycles dead bulbs and they are able to light again. Okay. I, 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 I need to just pause it out here for a minute, uh, but uh, I'm, I promise I'm going to come back. I need to uh, get uh, a recording up there right. uh, as uh, they're doing the shots. Uh, but uh, thank you very much thank for this so in, uh, innovation. And I know that this is going to help Uganda get back to the top. Thank there is no other better way of how I could feel as a part of Uganda than this time when the innovators have come uh, so that we can have our very own. 
getting a mix with these kind of brains, Uganda, we don't have a chance but to get to the top. This, uh, uh, Dr. Yahya uh, got his PhD from Brunei, and we have uh, uh, the center called uh, Motion Analysis Research Lab, MAL, at Islamic University in Uganda, and they've worked on this for the last is it, two years and see what they have produced. Yeah. So I think uh, if we give these young people a chance and we connect them with the industry, the sky is the limit on what we can do. Well, you got it from the, uh, the professor right there, the doctor. The sky is a limit, and the sky can never be a limit. It's you that got to be a limit, because if you have all these uh, uh, available to all of us, definitely we're going to be better. Big Sam, signing out. I'm coming back. Don't go away.